Okay. Uh, thank you everyone for joining me today. My name is Mirjana Pantic. My nickname is Mira. You may call me Professor Pantic or Dr. Pantic. I'll just uh, introduce myself briefly. I'm originally from Serbia. I worked there as a journalist for 12 years, and then I moved to the US in 2014 to get a PhD. I obtained a PhD at the University of Tennessee, and then I started teaching at PACE uh, since 2017. Communication research is one of my favorite courses to teach because it is very challenging and I like challenges. I also like doing research and my primary focus is producing research in the area of digital journalism, participatory journalism and social media. So I hope that you are not scared about this course because I know the students usually talk about uh, this course as maybe uh, one, if not the most difficult in the graduate program, but I'll make sure to um, explain everything well and to be here for you, whatever you need, so you don't find this course as difficult, but you will definitely find it challenging. So I'm, uh, I'm going to talk about the syllabus first, and I will explain my expectations of you. Those of you who have taken industry theory and practice with me kind of know the layout already. Uh, this course will basically have the same layout. There will be some differences related to your assignments because it's a big group of students. There are currently 17 of you and some projects will be group projects. So I will talk about them. Let me share my screen with you and discuss the syllabus. And please, if you have any questions, you can just raise your hand. Uh, feel free to interrupt me as I speak about the syllabus and I'll be happy to address your question as I go over these things. So we're meeting asynchronously. Uh, this is the only Zoom meeting. I thought that it was important just to introduce myself, to see you and to explain my expectations at the beginning of the semester. And I'm also recording this session and I'll be sharing a link with you. And, and if you wanna go over this uh, meeting, you can do that later. So we're meeting asynchronously. There will be only one more meeting, but I'll talk about it later at the end of the semester. So, uh, the entire focus, I want to, first of all, when it comes to the required material, one of the things that you need to get is the textbook, Introduction to Communication Research, is it is really important to have this textbook because um, my lectures, I don't think will be uh, enough for you to understand really complex concepts that we are, uh, we are going to discuss. I try, I kind of try to summarize everything into about uh, 30 to 35 minute lectures because usually students prefer to have lectures that are delivered within 30 minutes. So I, I tried to kind of put everything in 30 minutes and I also uh, provided some material for you online and I, I also like included exercises as part of the course. And of course, if you have any questions, you can always um, send me an email, reach out any other way on re or request a Zoom meeting with me. But I think that you really need to have the textbook uh, to understand these concepts and see other examples that I, that I haven't mentioned in my video lectures. So get the textbook. Um, I, there are also electronic versions of it, so you don't need to get a print copy, whatever works for you best. You, I think I provided a link for it, but you can search around and just find this edition from 2019 because it has like really recent examples about social media, um, digital environment and so on that is really important for us to understand these concepts that we are covering. I will be posting also some readings in classes. And this is the grading scale. Now we'll just uh, go briefly through these assignments. This is the grading scale. And these are the assignments that you will need to complete this semester. On this list of the assignments, the first one is research question assignment. The second one is article selection. These are only the only individual assignments, not exercise, assignments that you will have this semester. So what does it mean? 
at the beginning of the semester, I will ask you to complete this research question assignment. Well, you will kind of propose a research question and propose what you would like to study. What is it that you would like to research? And then your next assignment will be selecting the literature that relates to your research question that would help you develop your study. So now at this point, I will look at all of your individual assignments. They will be graded. But then based on your in research interest, I will split you into groups. And from that moment, you will start working on all other assignments together. So I will not look at, um, I will basically look at what is it that you're interested in, and then I will propose groups. So the next step in this process would be uh, to start writing introduction, literature, review, and method. What does this mean? So all of you will work, will work on these sections. And these sections are actually part of your final project. So you will be working throughout the semester on uh, different components of your final paper. So those components include writing introduction, literature review, and method sections. So after you complete your method section, you will be collecting data. And to collect data, you will need to obtain an approval from the Institutional Review Board. I will, I will, I'm going to explain that process in one of my lectures and also assignment instructions. And then after you receive an approval to conduct your study, you will collect data. You will uh, write the second portion of your final paper. So after introduction, literature review and method, you will write your results section after you, you uh, complete this data collection process and you will write uh, discussion, conclusion, and that will be your final paper. What is my goal? My hopes this semester is that um, groups will produce quality studies, quality papers that I will encourage you to submit or I am going to help you uh, submit it for conference presentations. So we will see how we will organize that in like the second part of the semester. So after the spring break, we'll, we will figure out what we're gonna do, but I will certainly help you in this process. And I think it would be great to have a study, have a research project at the end that you could submit um, for a conference presentation. And then let's say, if you submit it for a conference, it will take place in the fall. And then those of you who are staying in this program, who will still be in this program next year, you can actually um, present that paper at the conference. So I would really like that to happen because I'm sure that there are people among you who would like to pursue a PhD or those of you who will be working for companies that insist on um, you know, research and communication. So this will be very highly beneficial for you to prepare you for the job market and it will be highly beneficial for you to gain some experience. So uh, in classes, not yet, but later in classes, I will create groups. So not just that you will be, as you work together on these groups, a group assignment, don't be frustrated about it because I will be creating groups in classes and then I will be watching who is doing what and to what extent is each individual contributing because the goal is at the end to have a quality paper. If somebody is um, like not contributing enough to a group project, I want other group members to uh, notify me about it. I will also go through groups in classes and take a look who is uh, contributing to what extent and then I will notify that person that they need to work more. And I will give instructions to other people what to do so they don't miss out on producing a quality project. So I can assure you that you just need to let me know and I will, I will handle this. Okay. So this is just a brief description of each assignment. So I provided an overview. But if you want to look at the more, more detailed uh, description of each assignment, you will find it under assignments in classes. I'll get to that as well. Uh, one thing that we will also have this semester is an open book exam. So to make sure that everyone is 
understanding the material that we are covering somewhere uh, sometime at the end of the semester. I will give you an exam. This will be an individual exam. Um, you will have about 120 minutes to complete it. You can use the textbook, but again, if you haven't like followed the lectures throughout the semester, it will be really difficult for you to answer questions. So just make sure to read everything, to watch my video lectures, to complete all the exercises, and I'm sure you'll be you'll do well on this exam. Participation is also graded. And the way I do it, I usually post exercises and they will be in, in uh, under discussion. So you need to complete those exercises and you will see exactly which exercise carries how many points. One thing that is important is that um, I will not be accepting any late assignments in case there is, in case you have a really good excuse to, uh, for submitting a late assignment and I accept it, there will be a great reduction of 20% for that assignment, not for all of them, but for that particular assignment. Uh, one thing that I didn't know that I have to emphasize, but I, 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 it looks like I do. Um, uh, I, I really value communication. And I think it's, it is especially important because you're obtaining a master's degree in communication. So every time you send me an email, just uh, make sure that that email um, has a subject, um, MCA 610, and then you can ask a question. And make sure if you're sending attachments, you always need to include a message. There always has to be a body text because sometimes I receive um, emails with just an attachment and I don't understand whether it's an error, what the student is sending. So you really, this is really important. So whenever you're sending me an email, there has to be a message incorporated in the body of your email. Just make sure to do that. Okay, and this is the schedule. So I would suggest you to look at it just as some sort of orientation for like about your assignments and exercises. So you can take a look at um, which assignments are due on week three or week five before the end of the semester and so on. We will have a lot of things to do this semester. So I just tried to kind of organize it in a, in a meaningful way. So you have enough time to co complete all these assignments. So my suggestion is to just take a look at the syllabus to see where you are at, at a certain point of the semester and what assignments are left to be covered. So basically um, this first group assignment, Introduction Literature Review and Method is due before the spring break and right after you will um, need to submit that proposal for your study to the Institutional Review Board for approval. Then when they approve your study, you will be able to collect data for your study. One thing that I would suggest, but it really depends on what kind of research you will do. It would be best if your research will, um, if your research entails collecting survey data, but of course, it really depends on the research question, which is something that we will discuss this semester. Not every research requires you to collect survey data. Some research studies will require to, to, to collect interview data or do focus groups or an experiment. So we will talk about it this semester and we will find the best solution for you uh, and your research. Um, so the, another Zoom meeting that we will have, you can, um, you can email me and we can schedule a meeting that will work for, for, for both of us. I also have office hours, so you can schedule a meeting during my office hours or some, or some other time. But an, another meeting that I will have with you and I will, I will schedule individual Zoom meetings with groups on, in April, but we will talk about it when the time comes for that. And then we'll talk about your final paper and your progress on the study. And uh, you will submit your final paper in May and the exam will be prior to that. So this is basically everything that I wanted to share about the syllabus. Do you have any questions so far before I start covering classes platform? Any questions? 
Okay, I hope everything is clear so far. So let me go to classes. So I just included um, this module because I wanted you to start from here and get acquainted if you're using classes plat platform for the first time. I wanted to make sure that you can read about Brightspace, technical requirements, and other things related to classes you can prepare for this course. So what did I do for this course? Basically, all you need to do, uh, so again, look at the syllabus to see where you at during the semester. So it, it should be, it should serve as your orientation this semester. But what I suggest you to do um, then, uh, you will start with different weeks. So each week you will be required to complete certain tests. So for example, we are now, this is week one. So you see the topic for this week is introduction to communication research. And then I listed all the activities for this week. So those activities included this meeting, but they also include watching my video lecture reading textbook chapter one, completing the exercise, how to start a research project by Friday, January 20 at midnight. And then the day after, I don't, um, I don't provide, I don't allow you to see my PowerPoint until the day after you complete your exercise. Because the reason for this is because I really want you to watch my video lecture. And then in my, in my video lecture, I usually incorporate uh, the explanation of the exercise that is due that week. So you're gonna watch my video lecture, complete the exercise, and then the day after you will be able to download the PowerPoint presentation that I presented in that video lecture. And this is important because, um, because of the exam that you will have at the end of the semester, but also because some of the information from my PowerPoints would be beneficial for your research study. So. This is the list of things that we are covering uh, this week. And then if you scroll down under this picture, you can actually just click on every link and it will take you to the assignment that you're supposed to complete. So this is my video lecture. Uh, this is the exercise that you should complete. So you, you can see if you click on it, it will take you to the discussion board and then you will see uh, the exercise due and the number of points. The reason I didn't include any instructions here, uh, the reason you don't see my instructions on the discussion board is because my instructions are always in my video lectures because I wanna make sure that you're watching the video lecture before completing an exercise. So that's why I, I didn't provide an explanation and just provided a due date and the number of points you can earn for each exercise. So if you go to week two, it's basically the same thing. I listed everything that we're supposed to cover, cover, and then you will find my video lecture, the exercise and everything else. The PowerPoint will be available to you on one day after your exercise due and so on. So it basically, uh, this is what I did for each model, and there are 14 modules this semester because we have 14 weeks of the semester. And you can also see I posted when the when an assignment is due. I also posted the link for that assignment, and you will see um, you will see like when you need to complete it and what you need to do. So, so this is basically whenever you open. Um, Whenever you go to this course, what you need to do is you will just simply click on content and then you can go from one week to another. And I, I basically worked on designing this template for all courses in our master's program. And I hope that this is, a, this is clear. If there is anything that you think I should improve, just let me know. I like, it. I like to hear ideas. And so this is how it looks like. You go from one module to another. If you want to, for instance, now go and um, let's say learn about the assignments that you're supposed to complete the semester, all of them are already available to you. I posted them here 
And if you click on an assignment, you will see, okay, it looks a bit different on my end, but if you click on an assignment, you will see the deadline. And then you will also see um, all the instructions and grade rubric that I will use to grade your assignments and so on. One important thing that I don't want to, I want you to, I want you to know about this course is for your introduction, literature review and method, I provided several documents. So you will see in my instructions, there is group evaluation form. You will fill out uh, that form for each, uh, the one form, but each, each you, will, uh, you will provide feedback for each group member. There is, oh, I posted it twice. I will just remove one of them. Introduction literature review and method assignment format. So if you go to this document, why I did this, there is like a specific format that you should follow for your final project. So to make sure that you know which format to follow, I provided this document and you can simply download it and you will just change the title of your study, the names and so on. So I just wanted to make sure that you're following this specific format because uh, we are doing APA style this semester. It is important to incorporate it in your uh, writing. So for that reason, I just wanted to provide an example so you will kind of know which, uh, how does it look like to use APA style. So this is like the first level heading and then literature review. This is like how your second level heading should look like and so on. So this, do not, uh, you can read what I wrote because like I provided kind of some instructions in these paragraphs, but I don't pay attention to these subheadings because yours will look differently. But these headings like first level are actually what you're supposed to have literature review introduction method. But as you read other journal articles, you will kind of get a sense of what you're supposed to do. So I just wanted to show you that. And one other section, one more section. Yeah, okay. I'll go back to this later. One more section that I wanted to cover is your, okay, discussion. So if you have any questions that you feel like other students would also ask, you can just post them here. If I don't respond uh, on time, like if I don't respond on, in 24 hours and it's urgent, just send me an email because sometimes I, I, I miss these questions, but I, would, I, I will be checking um, classes every day, but in case I miss your question, just send me an email and I will respond to it. So all the exercises are already available. So if some of you would like to, watch my video lectures ahead of time, they can actually, they can watch it and uh, they can complete these exercises. I believe, let me just check my notes, but I believe, yes, that is all that I had for you for today. So I'll just, we have like five more minutes uh, for your questions. So any questions for me? Anything? Did you hear me well? Okay, Mike. Okay. Yeah, say, yeah, say, you explained it pretty well. I don't. I don't really have any questions. Thank you so much. Yeah. So I, I see now your message, your messages in the chat. But uh, thank you so much. I just wanted to make sure that everyone is, uh, everyone is present, that you were able to hear me. And again, please, like this. It, again, I, I don't think that it is so difficult. I really like teaching this course because it is mentally challenging, and it is interesting. So. 
If you have any questions, just send me emails. And also remember, I have office hours and I can always schedule a Zoom meeting with you because I'll be working throughout the week. So we can always meet on Zoom and chat briefly about your projects or any concerns. So feel free to reach out. Okay. All right. Well, okay. No questions for sure. No questions. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I will. Um, I was recording this lecture session, Zoom session. So I will post this in classes and share a link with you later. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank Good you. Luck. Good luck with the semester. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you.